Hi, Athena here, and um, I want to know if you guys want to learn about centripetal acceleration. What? what? What is that? I don't know. A lot of people don't actually know what it is, but it is super interesting, super cool, and it's used every single day in every part of our life, and we, most of the time, aren't even aware of it. I love this. These are the first few words that my astronomy teacher had said to me on my very first class that I actually took in college. And ever since that day, I've been 100% hooked to astronomy and physics, and I love it, and I feel like not enough people do. So I'm here to inspire you guys, just like how I was inspired when I was a freshman in college, about the elegant universe and how we are all star stuff, as Neil deGrasse Tyson likes to say. So I'm going to start out with a really cool experiment that has to do with two objects. One me, and two, an office chair. Wait and find out. Great, now we have office chair and me. So the way that my professor had started the class was ask for a volunteer and she got up on a similar chair to this one and she sat in it, you know, kept her arms and her legs neutral and he began to spin the chair. Now what started happening was she started to pick up momentum. Ho ho! The next thing he asked her to do was to put out her arms and her legs as he spun faster and faster and faster. And then the next step was he asked her to pull her arms and her legs in really, really tightly. Looks what happens. Even though I stopped, and that is actually due to the fact that there are wheels on this chair, what happened was I started to pick up speed the second my arms and legs came in tight. This is what centripetal acceleration is all about. Super duper cool subject, and it actually has to do with the distance from the center of where you're starting to build up your rotational speed to your radius and your diameter, which is the arms and the legs. So it starts to spin slowly when you're going like this, and you start to spin faster when your radius and your diameter decreases. So that pretty much is centripetal acceleration. Super cool. Centripetal just comes from the fact that it's um, in a circle, and then acceleration, as you guys would know if you're anyone who drives, there's an accelerator, so you start to speed up, and it's super cool. So, yeah, I just thought I would do a really fun, cute video. Um, and this is my first one for my channel, guys. I hope you liked it. Um, I plan to actually start talking about really cool things in my next video, which may be about why astrology is a pseudoscience and what gravitational lensing is. So stay tuned, and if you want, you can subscribe below if you like this video. And feel free to leave a comment. I'm very open to different suggestions or opinions and stuff. Okay, thanks guys. Talk to you later. Bye!